What's up, guys? It's me, Poet AJB, her life through poetry, one of the Muscogee Soul Searchers. Y'all know what's Poetry Drop Tuesday. Y'all know what we do. It's been about two weeks or so since I've actually did a video. Um, I just, I just been busy. So, writing and posting was just kind of easier to do. But I do have a new piece for y'all today. Um, this one I've been kind of thinking about. Um, I didn't really know I was going to write about it today, but I was like, let me just go ahead and put this on paper. So, here it goes. Remember when I begged you? I pleaded to trust me that I would be here. To give me a part in the play, Pierre said. A story that I rather enjoyed. Excited to help bring this to life. And you said no. You said I wouldn't make it. That you didn't want to chance me not being there. Because I was just that kid. Well, you thought I was just another one of them, but I remember the day of hurrying home from school, almost in a panic, reminded mommy and daddy that I had a very important choir part that I had to sing in a play called Pierre Said. At this point, it was no longer about the play. You made assumptions in my early stage of innocence that I wasn't reliable, and I wouldn't be there. You assumed that I was just another no-show student in your second grade class. I didn't care if anyone can hear me. I made it a point to be there, to sing as loud as my little lungs could sing. Remember when I arrived in my pretty little dress? I walked with my head held supremely high, and I approached you tapped you on your arm to make sure my presence was known while you helped the students you choose with their costumes. You look shocked and puzzled. Do you remember when I said, I made it. I told you that I would be here, Miss Such and Such. I walked off ever so greatly to take my place on the choir stand, smiling as if I were the main event because that look on your face was so worth it. It was priceless. Remember when a little girl proved you wrong? And that was just the beginning. Poetic JB. So let me tell you the gist of this story. This is a true story. Uh, <laughs> and I was kind of reflecting on my life. Like, man, like, when, I, when somebody challenges me or says, you can't do it, you're not going to do it, you're not going to be nothing, but it's always been a point of mine to basically do the opposite and be like, all right, you know what? Show me. Watch this. Hold my Gatorade. <laughs> so this particular story really happened in my life. I was in the second grade. Uh, we did the play and I love this play. Like I really focused on when we were doing the whole story and I wanted a part in the play. I wanted to go up and down the aisles, whether I was dressed as a, a can of tomato soup or um, ice skating or whatever the case may be. I wanted to help make this come to life because it was like one of my favorites. And I just remember like pleading and pleading and raising my hand to volunteer for these parts and the teacher would look past me and like right after class, I was just like, well, why didn't you give me a part? Well, you're probably not going to be here. You didn't give me a chance. Mind you, I'm in the second grade. I know the teacher's name. I just don't, it's not that important. But I remember that like it was yesterday. Like this woman literally doubted me. She didn't give me a chance to even show that I was going to be there. She just literally was like, you're not going to be there. I know you're not type stuff. And I remember that attitude. I remember how I felt. So the day of the play, um, I remember I was excited to get home. I had a little dress picked out. My mom had set out for me and stuff. And I was just like, all right, we got to get there early. We got to get there early. And I was determined. Not just for the play at that point. But to prove this teacher that told me that I was not going to be there wrong. And the look on her face when I showed up, because I was I was motivated, like I'm going to show this teacher that I will be here. 
And I remember, mind you, I'm a little short person because I didn't get my growth done until like high school. So I walked up to her and I was just like, hey, I told y'all going to be here. <laughs> so that feeling right there, um, I think it, it set a really good foundation in my life. Um, but you never know, like you never know what your words might do to somebody. Um, either it's going to motivate them or it's going to break them. Um, and in this case, it, it really did. It set a foundation that I didn't want to hear those words. I didn't want to feel that way again. So, uh, when it was presented to me that you can't be, you're not going to be, you can't do it. And that sense of doubt that people gave to me, it made me push harder it made me push it to towards a positive approach. And when I did it, whether that person knew about it or not, I felt a sense of accomplishment. So thank you to everyone that has ever told me that I couldn't, I can't, you're not, you're not good enough, whatever the case may be. Because without you, I'm not sure if I would have had that motivation. But anyways, let that be a lesson. You never know who you're going to motivate with those negative words. So this poet is JB. Thank you guys for listening, sharing. If you wanted that part, if you ever felt that way, I'm telling you, just do it. Kind of like Nike, right? I didn't trademark that. <laughs> I have no copyright, so don't be going around suing me. Um, anyways, <laughs> poetic JB is out. Uh, good night to those who are watching this evening. Good morning, good day. Have a great one to those who are watching in the morning. Y'all stay motivated. And uh, yeah, Poetic JV is out. Deuces. Love ya.